Taiwan's first 10,000-ton amphibious transport ship, Yushan, was officially delivered on the 30th, marking a milestone for the Navy and the nation's shipbuilding technology. The flag handover ceremony was grandly staged, symbolizing a new milestone for the Navy and the nation's shipbuilding. President Tsai Ing-wen personally presided over the handover ceremony of the Navy's first 10,000-ton amphibious transport ship, Yushan, on the 30th. In the face of China's military threat, Taiwan's military can only strengthen its own defense capabilities. The Yushan ship is a transport ship that can conduct disaster relief missions during peace times while fighting during war times. The Yushan ship was launched in April last year, but before its delivery, water accidentally breached into the cabin during a test in June this year, which caused concerns. The Yushan will usually transport goods and personnel to the South China Sea and other outer islands and conduct natural disaster rescues. It can also be set up as a temporary hospital at sea during wartime and participate in international humanitarian rescue. The TC-2M missiles that it carries have a range of 30 to 50 kilometers. They can also determine the enemy's threat level and prioritize enemy targets. In addition, the Yushan also shoulders the heavy responsibility of force projection during wartime. In addition to carrying soldiers, it can also transport the AAV-7 amphibious assault vehicles, landing crafts, Humvees, helicopters, and other equipment to perform amphibious operations. The Yushan has high maneuverability and long voyage capabilities. It can fight in the open sea for a long time. After the Yushan ship is delivered, its operating unit will be formed next year and will join existing forces to defend the Taiwan Strait.